three members of an organised crime gang have been jailed following a series of burglaries across Cheshire and Greater Manchester. Thomas Berry, 27, Philip Berry, 27 and Adam Purcell, 34, all appeared at Chester Crown Court Tuesday the 9th of May where they were sentenced to 13 years in prison. Philip Berry of College Fields, Wrexham, was jailed for four years and two months, while his twin brother, Thomas, also of College Fields, Wrexham, was sentenced to four years and one month. Purcell of Chester Road, Frodsham, was jailed for four years and nine months. The sentencing of a 17-year-old boy from Frodsham, who has been convicted as part of the investigation, has been adjourned. All four offenders had earlier pleaded guilty to conspiracy to commit burglary. Philip Berry also admitted driving while disqualified and driving without insurance. The charges relate to a series of burglaries in Ellesmere Port, Warrington and Greater Manchester, which occurred between October and December 2022. The gang predominantly targeted Asian families. Their downfall came thanks to an investigation by the Serious and Organised Crime Unit at the Cheshire Constabulary. The investigation began on 25th of October 2022 following a burglary at an address on Westminster Road, Ellesmere Port. Detectives recovered CCTV footage which showed the offenders gaining entry to the address through a window before stealing cash from inside. The gang then made off in a Ford vehicle, which was later found by officers abandoned nearby. Inquiries revealed that the vehicle had been stolen from Merseyside area. Officers also got DNA match to Thomas Berry from a screwdriver found inside the car. Following the discovery, officers from the Serious Organised Crime Unit conducted further inquiries into Thomas and his associates, which resulted in officers stopping a black Audi A3 owned by Philip Berry on the M56 near Junction 12 on Wednesday the 14th of December. Thomas, Philip, Purcell and the 17-year-old boy were all arrested at the scene. Upon searching the car, officers discovered a quantity of cash face coverings, gloves and mobile phones. Further inquiries revealed that the items had been used in two burglaries in Warrington earlier that day, one at a residential address on Pasture Lane and another of a takeaway restaurant on Padgate Lane where the offenders stole cash. Officers also linked the gang to a stolen BMW which was found abandoned in Warrington the vehicle had been reported stolen from Rochdale area on Monday the 12th of December. The same car was also used in a burglary in Caddish Head, Greater Manchester on Tuesday the 13th of December where the gang stole cash which had been collected as part of a fundraising for a local rugby club. All four members of the gang were subsequently charged with conspiracy to commit burglary Following the sentencing, Detective Chief Inspector Ian Murray, who leads the Serious and Organised Crime Unit at Cheshire Police, said, I welcome the sentences that have been handed out and I hope that they provide reassurance to the victims and the wider community. The financial impact of burglary can be significant, but it's the emotional effect of being burgled which often lasts much longer and should never be underestimated. As a force, they understand this, and we hope this conviction goes as a warning to criminals who are looking to come to Cheshire, that in policing there are no borders, and the teams work together to get criminals off our streets and behind bars where they belong. Please like and comment and subscribe, thanks.